guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with another declutter video. I'm going to be picking through every single one of my small eyeshadow palettes and showing you which ones I love and then I'm keeping, which ones I'm kind of sick of and I'm getting rid of. I actually have what I've deemed a makeup museum, so some palettes are just special to me and I want to hold on to them, hold on to them, but kind of take them out of my rotation. So you'll kind of get to see my entire collection plus a bit of a declutter. So I've also decluttered my bigger palettes. I will have those linked down below and if you like those style, uh, this style of videos, be sure to subscribe. I did film a tutorial for this look and everything that I'm wearing will be listed down below as well but let's go ahead and get started So here is the full collection of palettes. There's about 64, 65 palettes here. I've got a, two bigger ones that I forgot to include in my bigger palette declutter along with two brand new ones um, that uh, I just came across as well in my drawer. So let's go ahead and dig into this because I really don't use my little palettes very much. So I really should get rid of quite a few. Why don't we start off with the Dior palettes? They're right here, they're sticking out to me. Um, I mean, realistically, with most of these Dior palettes that I have here, um, these were all sent to me from the brand. They used to send me a lot of their collections. And while I do love Dior's complexion products, their eyeshadows to me are kind of not remarkable uh, in terms of like the formulation is generally pretty good, but the shade selection I generally don't love and I don't find like I can get much of a look out of this. Let me switch sides so you can see the color better. But the problem is, is that I have a lot of nostalgia. <laughs> so that's what holds me on to keeping onto these. I wish I just hadn't even used them. This was a really cute collection that had almost, if you can see it, sequins imprinted in the palette. Then I have this one here. This was just like a summertime one. I'll probably get rid of this. I liked this actually because it had the peachy, but like I just realistically not reaching for it. This was from that same collection. Again, I think it's beautiful, but uh, that one's kind of quilted. I'll definitely get rid of that one. This one was a Paris collection. If you can see embossed, it almost has like the Eiffel Tower. They were really beautiful. And then um, this one, I really love the colors in here. I can't remember what this collection was. So I'm gonna hold on to a couple of these just for my makeup museum that I've mentioned before where I put makeup that is meaningful to me for whatever reason. So I'm gonna hold on to this sequin one because I think that that's just a really beautiful design. I'll also hold on to the other one that has like kind of memory in it and some nostalgia is this Eiffel Tower one. And then I think, I'll get rid of the other four, so that's good. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just straight up donate these two because it's not that I'm not interested in them and I actually really quite like the little, um, the other little one that I've tried. I already gifted another one to a friend, but I'm gonna donate these or gift them to friends. I think they're nice palettes and I clearly don't need any more eyeshadows and these are brand new in the box. Same can be said for this palette from Buxom, their white Russian palette. Um, it's it's a face and eye palette, and I just don't see myself reaching for this with the shades are a little bit light for me. I don't tend to reach for these kind of things. So again, brand new in box, someone else will enjoy that more than myself. I will go ahead and retire this to the makeup museum, the makeup, or sorry, Mariah Carey MAC collection. This was such, so exciting for me to get in PR a couple of years ago, but um, not something that I reach for. I did a whole, whole video on this back in the day. So, so far everything I've kept is just going in the makeup museum. This is Mac Patrick Starr. That was a cool launch. I went to that, he was there and that was awesome. So I'll probably hold on to this as well. I think that's cool. Makeup Revolution, definitely gonna keep this palette. It's not really a small one. I didn't mean to keep it in here, but it's the Reloaded New Trolls 2. And it's just, if you know the type of eyeshadows that I like to wear, it's lots of pinks, reds. Um, I think they're beautiful and really great quality. And I'm also gonna hold on to this Pure palette. Uh, I did use this in a couple of videos. I think this is super fun, Pure Barbie. It's 
got these gemstones on it. I'm just, camera cut me off there, but I was just saying that I'm normally not like somebody who would go after a Barbie collab, but they sent it to me and I ended up really falling in love with some of the shades. Some of them are quite unique to my collection and Pure does make really great eyeshadows. They're an underrated brand in my opinion. I've really liked what I've tried from them, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna hold on to this. I'm gonna get rid of these shadows from Makeup Forever. There's nothing wrong with them. This actually is <laughs> I could keep so much from my makeup museum. This was actually from the first Ipsy I ever went to in Toronto, I think. Ipsy, like, glam bag kind of event. I think something early days. And Makeup Forever worked with me when I had 5,000 subscribers or maybe less, and it was just so insane to me. Um, and then these are the newer version of those shadows. And again, really beautiful. I mean, maybe, maybe I'll keep the newer ones because I do actually really love those shades. It's just like, I don't find myself reaching for a mini palette like this, but maybe I should um, and, and make use of some of this. I will get rid of the older one, I guess. Sad. Can't all stay. I've got a bunch of Maybelline eyeshadows here. I've always been <laughs> unimpressed with their eyeshadows until more recently. They've stepped up their game, which I really appreciate because they really do kill it in like every other category or a lot of the other ones, but eyeshadow was something they really lacked. So I'm gonna hold on to this Nudes of New York. I think this is a great palette. It's nothing like revolutionary, but like I've mentioned before, I like to have a variety of drugstore, high end. I like to have something, you know, ideally I would have like <laughs> any brand, like Maybelline or something, I would have something from every category to be able to do a full face, if that makes sense, if the feeling arises. So I'm gonna hold on to that. I will also hold on to this Lemonade Craze. I'm a sucker for anything with yellow in it. Um, <laughs> actually, you know what? I'm gonna keep all of these. The City Mini Palette, this is gorgeous. It's really pretty, um, a great green from the drugstore. And then, doesn't hurt to have some mattes. Although, should I get rid of the mattes if I've got mattes in this palette? I can get all the same mattes pretty much, besides that shade, which is pretty. But realistically, I can kind of do the same thing. Cool that they came out with this matte palette, though. I was glad about that, and a decent variety of undertones and shades. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna keep these two. Do I keep the two neutrals and get rid of the two colorful ones? Like, am I, am I losing it? Okay, maybe, okay, I'll keep these three, get rid of the mini. Uh, I don't know, yeah, okay. Let's see what we've got here. Two higher end palettes, one from Visart, which I'm definitely keeping. Visart was a brand that I always like had my eye on when I first started watching YouTube. So it was really exciting when I was able to kind of afford purchasing my own. I can't say it's something I reach for a lot, but it is a nice solid palette and actually kind of reminds me of this, but like the much higher end version, not exactly the same. But anyways, definitely gonna hold on to this from Visart and then YSL, what is this? Oh, getting rid of this. This is a great example of me holding on to something because of the packaging, it has nothing to do with the shade. So this will go. Definitely gonna keep these two palettes here. Um, I love this palette from ColourPop. I included all my other ColourPop palettes in the big eyeshadow palette declutter that I will have linked down below, but this was their first palette that I think I got from them. It might have been my first three looks, one palette. It's phenomenal, obviously very well loved. I am gonna keep this from Essence, it's their fire palette. Um, again, those warm kind of shades, but I like to have a variety and it's a good drugstore option. Quite affordable, cruelty free, available at Shoppers. Okay, uh, I think I've since decluttered all the rest of my Rimmel palettes in other videos, but I think that these are so good. I'm gonna keep them both. I love Rimmel's eyeshadows. I also love CoverGirls. I've, you know, had all of their palettes and since decluttered them, this is what's remained. So I'm definitely gonna keep them. You have uh, this palette, the gold in here makes a great highlighter. <laughs> Fun fact. These from e.l.f., let's see. I really like e.l.f.'s eyeshadows. I've got a bunch of them here. Ooh, that's pretty and I never reach for that. I'm gonna get rid of this. It's pretty, but again, it's like, I can find that anywhere. I will keep this one. That is Jewel Pop. That will stay. The other will go. Some random smaller palettes. This was the Latte Gen Nude Bare Minerals. Again, very similar to like the other things I have going on and I'm gonna keep it just for variety's sake. Uh, and I love this Ablaze palette from Smashbox. I love their like their little mini palettes. This was my favorite for sure. 
two great little palettes here from Physicians Formula. They had little eyeshadows out for a long time, but never these kind of warmer shades and warmer tones. So I was excited when they when they launched these. I think these are great basics for anybody to pick up. I'm gonna get rid of this one. They're both fine. Like I could easily make use of them, but um, I will just hold on to one in smoky bronze and I'll get rid of this one, but they both are good options. Uh, classic nude, we'll go. Get some Avon palettes here. One of these I really loved. Oh, this one I kept <laughs> because of that orangey shade. I'll get rid of it. Um, and I think I'll get rid of this one. I've had it for a long time, but I really liked this as like a great easy palette. These two shades to me were so pretty. Okay, Wet n Wild, definitely have a makeup museum <laughs> uh, contender here, or definitely just like, you know, the, the vanity palette, you know what I mean? I swear, I swear I had something to do with this. Because I remember going to a wake, uh, make, uh, makeup event with um, Wet n Wild, and their VP of marketing was there, and I was telling her about the importance of like a warm brown and like a great cream shade, and then, all the palettes they came out with. I was like, do you understand how much we love this in the beauty community? <laughs> Anyways, this is going into the makeup museum. That will go. Uh, I'm getting sunburned was an old classic. It was never like my like favorite or anything, but I did love that gold. I will get rid of it. Same for the um, petal pusher palette. They'll both go. I love them. I love them so. Uh, this I dropped and broke the blue shade like two days ago, which is so annoying. So I'm gonna get rid of it. I will hold on to their other two palettes. These are phenomenal from Wet n Wild. I've got videos on them. And I'll get rid of this little mini guy. It's kind of this sort of taupey gray, but not enough depth for me in silent treatment. It will go. Some more NYX and Wet n Wild. I love both of these palettes, these NYX Ultimate shadow palettes are gorgeous this one is in the shade phoenix and then this one is in escape artist i think i like this one even more both beautiful obsessed obsessed with nyx eyeshadows we'll say i'm gonna keep all of these from elf these are their little mini palettes there's also a green one that i'm obsessed with i have a video on all all of the shades um, i think they're all really good super affordable high quality I think they're a dollar or three dollars or something nuts. Then from Charlotte Tilbury, a little bit higher end. Let's see what I have here. This is a little palette that came out with maybe two years ago. Easy Eye Palette. I'm gonna keep that. I think that's nice and simple. And then these are the palettes they came out with for different eye colors. I think I've only used the blue one and the green one maybe. I'm might have to keep all of these. Yeah. I'll get rid of this neutrally one. Somebody will love that neutral one. I'll keep the other colors. And last but not least, another eyeshadow palette or eyeshadow collection that I've talked about before at length, the Fenty Snap Shadows. I think there's 10 of them now. Uh, there was eight when it launched and I did eight looks, eight eyeshadow palettes and almost lost an eyelid in the process. So let's see what I've got here. I quite enjoyed a lot of these. Oh yeah, that pastel -y one I forgot about. Neutral moment. Let us see. The goal, I want to get rid of at least three of these, let's say. If I can. If not, so be it. I can definitely get rid of this neutral. This one can go. I think that's number one. You're out. Definitely staying is this pastel one in eight. Um, it's interesting because like I would, I would get rid of this. I ended up loving that purple shade, but I guess I'll get rid of it. This one, okay, I want to keep the pink. I actually thought this smoky one, surprisingly, I enjoyed on myself. It's kind of unique for me. This one was the one I wanted to love and didn't love that much because the greens just didn't do it for me. It almost did like a subculture thing and I love that mustard but it just didn't do what it actually wanted it to do. And I want to keep it because I feel like it has, like I still believe in it, but it showed me. It showed me its true colors. So that will go. Um, this one, I guess I can get rid of too. Number three. And then I'll hold on to this peach one because you know, you know me. 
So here is the finished product. I'm getting rid of about 24 palettes and keeping 40 something palettes. So 30 something percent leaving the collection. Really glad about this. I had a bunch in here that just were sticking around for no reason, especially considering I barely reach for small palettes. Um, but as I mentioned, it's hard for me to get rid of anything. So I think I did pretty good. Thank you so much for watching. If you are curious about the shelters in Toronto that I like to donate my extra unused product to, I will link them down below. Lots of great uh, shelters here in Toronto. Can't donate to all of them right now, but good to get in touch and see when things do open back up. Uh, if you are also a makeup lover and have some untouched makeup, it's really nice to be able to hand it along because it's such a luxury uh, to be able to use and I'm really grateful to have as much as I do. So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Samantha Jane. YT and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!